everybody and welcome to TWF uh, you know Impact Wrestling and today on Impact Wrestling we got the assistant general manager Gabrielle here well Gabrielle says I have some good news well first the bad news but then the good news comes bad news is the director of op the director of wrestling operations feed or long relieved Kang as the executive as executive administrator so he's no longer going to uh, be around in that practice anymore other good news he found out who the number one contender to the TWF World Heavyweight Championship is uh, we found out that John Cena and Captain America will both be challenging Wonder Woman for the TWF World Heavyweight Championship you find that very cool and you know, very interesting all at the same time. Uh, sorry for that burp. Oh, okay. And that's basically all I gotta say. Now I know there might be some people who might be a little disappointed, you know, with the whole setup and everything. They might be disappointed, they might think, Oh, why Why was John Cena fighting Wonder Woman for? Why is Captain America involved? Well, originally it was supposed to be Wonder Woman versus Captain America, but then John Cena won it, so John Cena had a match on Monday Night Raw, and he won it, so that's how he got himself in a predicament he got himself in. <sighs> so, Gil Kim says, that means I don't have to worry about Kang anymore. Well, yeah. Kang is no longer the executive administrator anymore. Yeah, I knew. That guy was abusing his power. You should never even give him, you and your mother should have never given him that position ever again. But, Gil, that doesn't mean that your problems of Kang are over. Just because he's no longer the executive administrator anymore doesn't mean that you still ain't going to fight him. Are you crazy? Yeah, since you got in my face, you're going to meet Kang right here on Impact Wrestling. Fuck! And that's right, folks. Kang might no longer be the direct, might not be the executive administrator anymore. But he still has some, but that means that does. But that still means that, uh. But it still doesn't mean that they don't still got problems with him. Coming down the aisle, currently in the ring with his manager, Paul Bear, he is Kang. And from Toronto, Antonio, Canada, but now residing in Tampa, Florida, United States, she is Gil Kim Deaning. And this whole feud between Gil Kim and Kang has started out. Oh, you see, it all started because Gil Kim wanted to have wanted to have more matches and not just with extras or jobbers or whatever you want to call them and so far Gil Kim it seemed to be dominating Kang right now Kang just took down Gil Kim with his with that one flying clothesline wait a minute Kang's gonna come off the top rope here another flying clothesline down goes Gil Kim Gil Kim in trouble right now. She claims that the reason she hasn't been used or 
the way she's been booked because she's a Jack Pacific's TNA action figure. That's what she claims. Kane coming off again. Oh, eat the feet. Oh! Gil Kim just gave uh, Kane the eat the feet, the move that has won her the end, the teed up, the has won the TNA Knockouts Heavyweight Championship at least five times or six times. A belt has won her the T the TNA Knockouts Tag Team Championship once, the WWE Women's Heavyweight Championship once, and a multi-time TWF Women's Heavyweight Champion, TWF Heavyweight Champion, Royal Champion. Wait a minute, come back. Oh. One off the front. The Demon Kane. Trying to come back here. And oh, he just took down Gil Kim. Kane wants to try to end this here. He wants to try to give Gil Kim a tombstone pile driver. And when the, oh, eat the feet. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, Gil Kim. And Gil Kim has to get out of here now. You know. I don't know. You know. I really don't know how Gil Kim managed to defeat Kane here, but she did. And we all know basically. We all know basically it's that's all the time we got here, you know, for Well, before we go, I think we have one more little thing here. I beat Gil, I beat Kang. Good for you. And that means that I want to be inserted either to the TWF Heavyweight Championship or the TWF World Heavyweight Championship. You understand me? Yeah, I understand you. Gil Kim wants to at least be in the TWF Heavyweight Championship match or the World Heavyweight Championship match. But we'll have to see what happens here. Well, that's all the time we got here for TWF Impact Wrestling. We hope you enjoyed Impact Wrestling, and we'll see you tomorrow for TWF Main Event.